Hello, it is after work and before prayer meeting and I am here making a video at the old Adventist church, Iglesia Adventista, and the neighboring dogs are pretty upset with me. They must not remember me. So many good things have been happening for me lately. For instance, I went uh, to the library after work yesterday and I, I at 5 o'clock I gathered up all my stuff and ran and, and went to the library and I checked my email and I got some movies because I hate to eat alone. And then after that, it was time to go to the gym for my class. And I gathered up all my things and I'm driving to the gym and I take out my cell phone. Well, I go to take out my cell phone to silence it like I do, and it's not there. And I, I looked all through my purse several times and all my bags in the car and everything and I just realized it wasn't there. I, I went back to work because that's the last time I saw it. Uh, I, I, I remembered seeing it on my desk and picking it up. And so I, I was pretty sure it wasn't on the desk. And when I got there, you know, I'm opening the gate and I'm, I'm praying that it's there. And I go in there and I check in my desk and I check in the drawers. I check everywhere. It's not there. And I'm thinking, I'm going to have to buy a new cell phone. So much for gym class. I'm going to have to buy a new cell phone. I have, you know, this, this, this puts me back. I'm trying to save money. I have to buy a new cell phone. And so I get into my car and I'm wailing, they stole my cell phone. And I glance over. And there's something shining in the parking lot. And it's small, black, rectangular. And I drive over, you know, my heart leaps. And I drive over and I pick it up. And it's my cell phone. And I dust it off. By the grace of God, I managed not to drive over it. If I did, it wasn't hurt. You know, when I left and, and there was my cell phone. I'm just <laughs> so grateful. And uh, so I get up this morning and I'm having prayer. And I happen to glance out the window. Gorgeous. Just amazing. Just amazing. And I'm driving over here after work to prayer meeting and I glance out the window and there's not one, but two groundhogs. And I was sure it was after groundhog season. Some of you may not know how much I adore groundhogs. I mean, I don't know what it is. They're just so furry and fat and cute. I love groundhogs. 